in this video I'll be showing you how to fix crashing issues with multifaces. So if you're having problems with the game keep crashing to your desktop, freezing or perhaps you can't even get the game to load then by doing the methods that I'll show you in this video will hopefully resolve those issues. But before we get started if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do enjoy this video and it helps you out then don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. So the first thing that we want to do is just ensure that you do meet the minimum requirements to play the game. I will pop the link to Steam where you can check this because if you don't meet the minimum requirements then you're just not going to be able to launch the game and it's going to crash. Once you've ensured that you meet the requirements we now need to right click on the start menu icon and you then need to go to settings. You then need to click on to update and security and you now need to select check for updates and just ensure Windows is up to date. If Windows does detect any new updates it will then begin to download and install them. So once you have finished updating Windows then the next thing that we want to do is also ensure we have the latest driver installed for our graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and go to device manager. Next you need to expand display adapters and as you can see I have an Nvidia GTX 1660 Super. So this means I need to go to the Nvidia website and download the latest driver for a GTX 1660 Super. I will pop links in the description below to Intel, Nvidia and AMD where you can grab drivers for your graphics card. You can see that it does say that I do have an AMD graphics card as well. I do but it's actually my processor so I'm using my GTX as my main graphics card which means I need to download the driver for that. So once you download the latest driver for your graphics card and updated Windows go ahead and launch Multifaces and see if that resolved the issue you have been having. If that didn't help then the next thing that you need to do is go to the location where you install Multifaces. If you're not sure where you installed the game then you can find this out by opening up Steam. And once you have Steam open, right click on Multifaces and then go to Manage and just go Browse Local Files. You then need to go ahead and type in in the top right hand corner .exe and press Enter. You will then see the Multifaces.exe here. You need to right click on this and go to Properties and Compatibility and then run this program as an administrator and press OK. You then need to do the same for the other .exe as well. Once you set those two .exe's to run as an administrator go ahead and launch Multifaces and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't then you can always change it back. So the next thing that you need to do is just keep File Explorer open. At this time we need to click in the address bar at the top and you then need to do the percentage symbol and type in local, app and then data and then do the percentage symbol and press enter. You then need to find multifaces in the list and then open up the folder and you then need to right click on the saved folder and go rename. And we're just going to call this saved and then backup. Once you've done that go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helps. This is going to reset all the in-game settings. So if it didn't help then you can delete the new save folder that gets created and then just rename this one back to saved. The next thing that we need to do is just completely close all of this down and you need to ensure that you don't have anything else open when you're trying to play multifaces. So close down your web browser, your music player, Discord, OBS Studio, any overlay programs, anything like that. Ensure it's all closed as it could be conflicting with the game causing it to crash. Also right click on the start menu icon and go to task manager and then go across to users and just ensure no one else is currently signed into your computer or you don't have any other users signed in. That could also have a program open that's causing multifaces to crash. If that's not the thing that's causing the game to have problems on your computer then the next thing that you want to do is just simply right click on the start menu icon and go to power options. We then need to click on additional power settings and you then need to expand additional plans and you then need to select the high performance power plan. And this is just going to allow a computer to use more power which can help not only improve a little bit of performance in the game but it could also obviously help with the crashing issues. 
Once you've done that, launch the game and see if that helped. If changing the power plan didn't help, then the next thing to do is if you have a third party security program installed on your computer, is to disable that for a short period of time, as it could be the cause of the problems that you're having with the game. Just keep in mind that you might not be protected from security threats while the program's disabled. A lot of the security programs these days do have a game mode or a passive mode, so you could always try that mode instead. But obviously, like I said, you won't be protected from security threats while your security is disabled. So obviously just do that at your own risk. Once you've done all that, and if none of that helped fix the issues you have with the game, the next thing that you need to do is open up Steam. Once you have Steam open, you then need to go to your game library and find Multiverses again. And you then need to right click on the game and go to properties. And this time we're going to go down to local files. Next, you need to click on verify integrity of game files. This is just going to ensure that none of the games have become corrupt or missing. And if Steam does detect an issue, it will attempt to repair the problem. So that now brings me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we have done on crashing issues with multifaces, which may also have more methods by the time you click on that guide. So if you liked the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.